Welcome viewers to the Fantasy Viz coverage on the third ODI match of the West Indies Tour of Sri Lanka. Before we show you our Dream 11 team selection, we will have a look at both the teams, their performances in the tournament so far, the venue, the team and the weather update. We would also be showing you a list of the key players for this match who should be a part of your Dream 11 team. So do stick around till the end of the video so that you can get access to all our Dream 11 selections. Uh, now to give you some background, I think the first match between these two was fairly evenly matched with a close encounter. Uh, the second match was a very one-sided affair with West Indies being completely outplayed by Sri Lanka. Now that Sri Lanka have already won the three-match series, West Indies would want to win the third one just to salvage some pride. Now, just to give you some uh, information about the match. Now, the third match is being held at the Palikili Stadium, which used to be earlier called as the Candy Stadium. Uh, this is on the 1st of March. Uh, a total of uh, 24 games have been played here. The highest total being scored over here is 363. The lowest total 167. The highest score sheet is 288. Uh, this is so to give you some idea the pitch over here has a bit of uh, a bit for everyone the pacers will have some help uh, the spinners will have some help uh, and as the game progresses the ball is likely to come nicely on to the bat the weather over here is expected to be nice and sunny with 34 degrees centigrade which so we can expect a perfect day for cricket uh, the record between uh, these two teams especially in uh, sri lanka has been fairly one sided with sri lanka winning uh, most of it but uh, West Indies is a very good team and they can definitely bounce back. If <clears throat> uh, Now we'll show you the uh, likely uh, 11. Um, I think the likely 11 we've just uh, considered the same likely 11 over here. But uh, as you know, uh, I think since uh, Sri Lanka has already won the series, they might want to give their bench strength a chance. But we've not heard uh, any indications to that uh, 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 to that uh, uh, to that uh, for for that yet from the team, but that is a likelihood. So do watch out for the teams after the tosses uh, toss happens. Now we'll take you to the key players. Now the key players that we have is uh, Shai Hope. I think he's in he's in amazing form. Uh, he's the best batsman for West Indies, and he has been in very good form in this tournament with the century in the first match and a half century in the second. I think uh, he is a very good candidate for the captain as well, looking at his form. The next name that we have is Nicholas Puran. I think he has been a consistent player for West Indies with a very good ODI average of 50 and we should we think that he should be definitely be a part of your team. He got a good start in the second ODI but just could not carry on. But we think that if he is given the chance in the third ODI, he definitely want to change things around. The next name that we next two names that we have are Alzari Joseph and Sheldon Cottle, who form the pace battery for West Indies. Now both of them have been among the wickets. Uh, Cottrell has uh, uh, has some amazing pace and uh, variations. Uh, so does uh, Alzari, who Alzari is the middle order enforcer for uh, West Indies. So they both at uh, they both bowl at uh, different stages of the games and have been um, in the wickets with. Uh, uh, Alzari getting 3 wickets in the se uh, second ODI and uh, Cottrell getting 4. Uh, now we go to the Sri Lankan players. I think the uh, we begin with Kusala, Kusal Pereira. I think he's a top order uh, batsman with a very good average uh, of 31 uh, with Sri Lankan standards obviously. But he has the capability of getting some uh, good scores. Although he did not want uh, did not perform in the first two matches, he'll, he'll be keen to change that uh, record in the third one. The next team that we have is, is Kusal Mendes. I think he has been in really good touch as was evident by his century in the second ODI. Uh, the next player is uh, Angelo Matthews. I think uh, he's, he, he can chip in with uh, his all-round abilities with the bat, with, uh, with the bowl, uh, with the wicket here and there. In the field as well, he's like one of the best fielders for Sri Lanka. He has a double century in the recently concluded uh, series with Zimbabwe, so you cannot discount him. The next name that we have is Noan Pradeep. He is the pace period for West Indies, and he has a lot of. Uh, uh, he's, he's always been in the uh, 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 wickets. He got a couple of wickets in the second ODI as well. Uh, now we would like to take you uh, to the uh, value players, which we think can give your team uh, the edge required. The first one that we have is uh, Darren Bravo. I think uh, uh, Darren Bravo got a chance. Just because of the Hitman and Lewis injuries, but uh, 
he he i i i think he would definitely want to capitalize on this particular chance and we think that he'll give a, a last ditch effort to cement his place in this odi squad if he wants to be a part of it so uh, look out for him the next name that we have is aviska fernando he has been in really good touch with this series uh, he he got uh, a, a century in the second match a good start in the first one so we definitely think that he can carry on the momentum to this match the next team that we have is uh, vanidu hasranga now vanidu hasranga is a aggressive leg break bowler he usually bowls as full quota and he he gets uh, he gets his fair share of wickets as well he got three wickets in the second odi the next team that we have is thisara parera now thisara parera is a bowling all rounder with uh, the ability to hit some really aggressive knocks in the middle order for sri lanka so we think is a very good value pick Uh, now we like to show you some dream 11 combinations although these are dream 11 combinations being shown uh, i think our adv- advice uh, should keep you in good stead on any fantasy platform that you wish to choose to play uh then uh, the first team that we have selected i think both the teams you have taken shy hope as the captain in one of the teams you have ta- we have not taken uh, puran uh, instead of puran i think we just added uh, one of one uh, uh, kimo paul to the bowling lineup I think Kimo Paul is a good addition because he is usually balls in the dead ballers and there's a likelihood that he gets wickets with his slow variations. Uh more or less the rest of the team remains the same with our value picks than uh, uh, our, uh the key picks that we have already shown. That's it from uh, team fantasy wiz uh, right now. All the best guys for this match and hope you win big following our tips. Please do subscribe to our channel for more updates on the upcoming matches. Do press the like button if you like our video. Thank you for watching the video.